Our trip began in Cambridge, where we were picked up by a coach arranged by the Earth Sciences Department. In the coach, we were socially distanced and had to wear FFP2 masks the whole journey. The road trip to air was about six hours, which gave me ample time to listen to music, appreciate the beautiful scenery, and sleep. We were also given this pack with lots of useful sheets, a guide, a notebook, and a pen. We reached our overnight accommodation in air at around 7 in the evening and checked into our rooms. This is the room we're staying in. Our stay at Mercure Hotel was only one night long and we each had a room to ourselves. We're going to have the briefing outside. Just down there on the seafront. It's literally 100 meters walk away. We then headed down to the beach to have a short briefing about certain logistical details for the trip. After that, it was dinner time and we headed to bed after a long travel day. Making a quick stopover at Asda supermarket to grab some lunch. The next morning, we checked out of Mercure Hotel and headed straight towards our first geology stop of the trip, the Ayrshire Coast. Does anyone have a hypothesis about what kind of mineral that might be? It's one you've met many, 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 many times. Translucent. Translucent? Rounded? Quartz. Quartz. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh so special. A little jellyfish. You're gonna see them all over the beaches. There's Pratyush, my fellow vlogger on this trip. <laughs> Lunch with a view. How? Super, super hot. We're taking a little touching the water break. <laughs> The boys are skipping stones there. We're gonna have a rock throwing competition. <laughs> On your marks. Oh, you're not throwing it? And that's a bit attached to this rock. <laughs> Does not want to throw it. Yellow, lighter yellow, and red. This is, this is a good one. Whoa, Helena! <laughs> that was good. I feel like Anna and I went the same place. Yeah. Oh, he is the bass. Yes. Our natural instrument. We have the bass. Okay, Anna, go for it. No, Are you going to give us a little good. performance? <laughs> Pillow basalt. Like that we can infer if based on the other features of this rock its color its lack of minerals its lack of plastic oh, textures the they're reasonably rounded um and what do we notice they're concentrated in one particular area of the rock right mm -hmm. there's not really that many in this bit this bit's a lot more massive and blocky kind of randomly fractured mm -hmm. but this has a band of bubbles Admiring these folds and the sedimentary bedding. Scottish ice cream. <laughs> so hot today. After a whole day, I finally managed to get my bottle filled. Scottish water is tasty. Very, very tasty. It's so good, yeah. The ferry is here. Around 5 30 in the evening, we boarded the ferry that was going to transport us from air to the Isle of Arran. The ferry ride was about an hour. <laughs> Anna, why are you dressed like this? Because it's pretty windy. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Helena's gonna go capture some more pictures and videos. <laughs> what was that? You look like you're gonna die with the water. Hello, Aaron. Two coaches then picked us up from the ferry terminal and we would have these two buses throughout our entire stay on the Isle of Arran to transport us within the island. It was about a half an hour bus ride to the place that we were going to stay for the rest of the week called Locaranza Field Centre. This is our accommodation for the next six days. That's my roomie! <laughs> This is Shahani. This is Helena. I lost this is Iris. Iris. Yes. Uh, can I switch it to, to selfie mode? I don't know. No, not, I think not while. Oh, it's our time. Do you want me to do Anna? Else. <laughs> and this is Anna. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank um, patterns on them, kind of resembling giant toothpaste. Every evening we had presentations and that night it was our turn to give a presentation on what we observed during the day. So it immediately crunches. And now we're going to give you a little um, visual <laughs> recap of crunching. <laughs> so what are the, um, you know, in the... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to crunch. <laughs> 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 Getting ready for a long day's walk. Take repellent. Hi. Anna just pushed my bottle off the ledge and now I feel like the sheep is gonna come eat it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks Lucy. I was gonna... <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> or we might just get lost. Then. So in some respects it's a bit of a show and tell, i.e. we point to something and say that's what we're looking at. But I want to try and minimise that as much as possible and get you looking. At each stop, we'd be given time to discuss what we were seeing with our peers and demonstrators. At the end of every stop, our lecturer would conduct a debrief session and discuss what our observations mean in a wider context. I mean, hopefully, if nothing else, it's a rock that must have undergone deformation. Hopefully, you can see clasts which are elongated in here, and hopefully, you can sort of see that they're clasts of that basalt that we looked at back there. And sort of the interesting thing from an overall trip point of view, is the location of it. Now, in my lectures, I talk to you about terrains across Scotland. There's a, a number of large terrains. And the Dalradian that we were just talking about, back there at the bridge, effectively that makes up most of what is referred to as the Grampian terrain. And these terrains, not only in Scotland, but everywhere in the world, they're marked by big faults. His back and is basically my height. <laughs> Getting swallowed by the bracket. There's more to come there. Oh, more to come. And are you okay? Anna is suffering slightly with her decision, with her wardrobe decision today. Yes, Jess, you almost made it through. <laughs> Next survivor, looking for a way to cross the water. Our savior there has fell, fallen in the water. And now we know which rock not to step on. You can do this, Anna. Oh, careful, careful. She just went for it. Oh, you careful. You tried. <laughs> okay, thank you. Wanna me your hand? One, yes. There we go. Where are we going? Oh no! The challenge is to do one thing. I'll run it by you. Wash. <laughs> I thought that's a sheep just standing there contemplating life, <laughs> but it's actually just a statue. <laughs> anyway, we finally no reached the coast. In this video. Yes, no sheep were harmed in this video. <laughs> uh, we finally reached the coast after many struggles involving pesky, pesky bugs and plants. <laughs> Now let's see what awaits us. We've reached the old red sandstone that is coastal. Tells a joke, but he's fatal. Generally taught you that bivalves are doing this. Right. Two valves that are essentially have got symmetrical shells. So generally, we would expect Permian. We're in the northern uh, arid belt, 
We've got these red sandstones and we've got, they're, they're clearly wind blown uh, based on the cross stratification. <laughs> It's a rather rainy morning. Quite close to the edge of a very major pole. Do we like my head? We're climbing up some rocks. And we found some beautiful muscovite. You guys want to peel it off? Yeah. Like sheets. Look at that. The shiny silver you want. You just kind of scratch it, it peels off like sheets. Oh, really? Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Oh, that is actually quite fun. Right? It's like, Ooh, that was really shiny. It's shiny. shiny. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that's ripples. That's got to be good. Oh, that's yeah, got to be really ripples. Cool. They're a bit more convincing. Oh, and look. Oh, wow. <laughs> they look really good. Really good. Uh, that's worth a picture. The example we're seeing right now is I think one of the clearest examples we've seen of something the entire trip and I feel like for the first time understanding 100% of the things that we're seeing which is so so cool yeah this is a really cool place we're seeing where a dike is intruding into a country rock and we're seeing evidence for how the country rock was part of a desert like such clear striking evidence and it's a bit mad because we're in Scotland and that means Scotland was a desert Cool stuff. <laughs> uh, what is it, an archosaur? Yeah. yeah. So in the little uh, expert, it's like a mock-up of what it should look like. Currently measuring how far the strides are. Wait, but um, don't they walk like right for right on their left side? If we look at the reconstruction based on fossils, they've got four limbs. Anna has been making very serendipitous wardrobe choices this week. The first day Anna dressed up, she matched perfectly with our favorite demonstrator, one of our favorites. <laughs> and today she was wearing another top, also matching with another demonstrator, with the light blue fleece thing. Yeah. And then she's wearing a Jurassic World shirt, which matched perfectly one of the trace fossils we saw. Which is even bad. the Triassic one. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, even the Triassic one. Like, she's <laughs> we have just stopped off at the co op. It's quite a big co op for an island. Uh, we're going to stock up on supplies and then go back to Loch I think. Right, we have secured the football. Fly away plastic one. We're going to have a kick about later. Me and some other people. We've had a brilliant idea. By we, I mean Shivani. <laughs> that we can play water volleyball with this. That's so good. So swimming in the sea and then water volleyball. That's so good. <laughs> oh! We're walking to the sea to have a little chat and some drinks with our demonstrators and lecturers. And there's Anna looking cuter than ever. Uh, and there's Izzy! 